In this video, we will learn how a basin is formed. When you look at a basin, basically it is a depression or a dip in the earth's surface. When you look at the shape, it looks like a bowl and its sides are higher than the bottom. They are also in oval and circular shape, similar to a sink or a tub you have in your bathroom. Some basins are filled with water and some are empty. Some of them takes thousands of years to form while some are formed overnight. A good example of overnight activity would be an earthquake. Earthquake makes the ground shake due to which a landslide is triggered. And that is how a basin is formed in a short span of time. A river drainage basin is an area drained by a river and all of its tributaries. Heavy and continuous flow of water erodes land surface by picking up sand particles along the way causing land erosion. The land portion that is eroded is lower compared to its surrounding. Basins usually take thousands of years to form. The Amazon Basin in Northern South America is the largest in the world. In India, we have Ganga River Basin, Brahmaputra River Basin, Krishna River Basin, Mahanadi River Basin, Narmada River Basin, etc. Even slow movement of glaciers forms basins. Glacier movement carves the land creating a low ground or depression. As a result, you have an area of land which is lower compared to its surrounding. And that is also called a basin. And finally, when you look at an ocean, it is a large portion of Earth's crust that is filled with water. Let's take the example of Atlantic Ocean. We have North and South America on left and Europe and Africa on the right. In between, there is a low land that is filled with water which we call the Atlantic Ocean. That means an ocean is a low land between two continental landmass that is filled with water. So in a way, it's a huge basin. It is called as ocean basin.